So this is prickly pear. Prickly pear grows principally in dry sunny areas with sandy or rocky soil. Gather the young pads in May and the fruits in September. The bees love them. I hear them everywhere. So you can eat the even the flowers but just pick a few petals and leave the rest so the so you can enjoy the fruit that's gonna form after the flower falls off like this um, when this falls off this is called the fruit and it's gonna look like this I have a book about it see this is the fruit this is where the flower was growing and the fruit is really delicious. Uh, you can eat it raw, or you can cook it, or juice it. It's really delicious when you juice it. And strain it so you don't have any of those. They call them glotchets. I think glotchets. Yeah, glotchets. Um, yeah, be careful and always wear heavy gloves when picking the pads and fruits from prickly pear. Um, this part, this part, the pets. Oh, wait, I, I hope you can see it here. This you can eat it too. Um, I heard you can remove the glotchets and the spines over the fire. And then you can just peel it off and eat the flesh inside. Uh, I think they eat it a lot in Mexico and they call them nopales. Um, The pets have a tangy green pepper flavor with a hint of purslane and a very mucilaginous texture like okra and the fruits taste a bit like a melon. So I'm glad I found them here. I'm here in uh, Central Florida in Crooked River Preserve. This is like the only spot I've, I saw them in Florida. I know they are very um, common in southwest, but here southeast is pretty wet, so we are very lucky when you find them. Um, yeah, so the whole plant is edible. Just be careful so you don't get those glotchets and spines on your hands. It can really hurt. Um, when I was in Arizona, I touched one of those and it was really hard to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I really love these flowers. Let me taste one right now. Just one, so I can tell you. Hmm, good, good. Yummy, actually. Wow, I didn't expect it to be so yummy. Hmm, I will be back for more. But I don't want to pick it since I'm in the preserve. I just took one petal. And I'm gonna wait for the fruits. Hopefully I will find it somewhere where on a private property so I can pick it. Okay. Look, this is the book I'm using. It's called Nature's Garden Edible Wild Plants by Sam Fayer. And here's these beautiful photographs of those fruits. He dries them too, like on a drying rack. This is how he does it. Look, this is the flower. They grow pretty much everywhere, but it has to be dry and sunny. How lucky to find this. Wow. Here is another book. They talk about prickly pear. This is called Southeast Foraging by Chris Bennetti? Bennett, sorry, <laughs> Bennett. And here's this beautiful photograph of the prickly pear. So, this is in the book, and this is in the wild. It can have um, 
different colors like orange or yellow or red. I found the yellow ones. I hope I will find the other colors too somewhere. Right, so good luck finding prickly pear. They are very delicious. And see you soon. Bye bye.